Hey, welcome to the Tom Ferry Show. Today, the table was flipped. I got interviewed by a former sales associate of mine on the power of video marketing. As you all know, online video marketing is a super powerful tool. Today, I have the pleasure of being with an innovative and very dynamic coach who happens to be a master in this department, Tom Ferry. Thanks so I was much like, I'm so happy it was me. I wasn't sure who you were talking about for a second there. Thanks so much for yeah, having hey, thank me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Today, what I'd like to touch upon is the do's and don'ts of video marketing. Love it. And also, I want for you to share some ideas okay. of how to captivate the client, not interest or, you know, engage in the client, but actually captivate them and bring them in. Sure, sure. So can you share with me a few ideas of what, what we must do to stand out in video marketing? So um, let me give you a little backstory first. Okay. So in uh, 2007, I was on the golf course with a buddy of mine and a guy who has absolutely no personality uh, gets introduced to me and I'm like, hey, so who are you? He's like, oh, my name is David. I'm like, where are you from? He's like, I'm from New York. I'm like, what do you do? He's like, I work for this little company called Google. And I was like, Google? let me carry your golf bag. I want to talk to you, right? I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, basically I'm in charge of media and content. Think about that title. He's in charge of media and content for Google in New York City. So, you know, we're talking, we're hanging out and I'm like, I just finished 30 days of my new podcast, Everyday Audio. And the guy looks at me and he says, podcasts suck. Podcasts suck. I had spent 30 days of my life creating this content, super fired up, was actually talking to BlackBerry about having an exclusive real estate contract. Remember the BlackBerry? Yes. Like, yeah, thank God I said no to that one. <laughs> um, but here was the deal. He said to me, if you're not on YouTube today and in the future, you will be out of the game. The stats now show that more than 80% of consumer behavior, the way that we're consuming content is all on video. So the first thing I would say to an agent is, is rather than looking for like the crazy innovative stuff, it's just be there, like be there. The, the most important thing we talk about is be consistent. By creating consistent content, you're going to win over an audience. You're gonna bring value. You're gonna deliver fresh ideas, new ideas, or maybe just what's going on inside the market and houses. And by doing that, you're gonna win. Wonderful. One thing that we were talking about previously was three E's that I see in you. Yeah. You engage you entertain yes. and you educate. Yes. So talk to me a little bit about that. If you were to put those in a particular order, would you say that all three are essential? You know, here's the thing. So, you know, we were also talking about people that don't have a, like, do you know someone that doesn't have a personality, right? Like if they try and fake energy because they don't have energy, right. then when the client meets them, they're like, well, what happened to the gal that was all fired up and bubbly? Right. So I think you need to be who you are first and foremost, okay. right? And recognize that you're, you're not here to, you're not here to, convince people that they should work with you. They either like you or they don't. They either feel that sense of trust with you or they don't. Right. So I've got clients that are super entertaining and I've got clients that just sell a lot of houses. And you know what? They're a little more analytical, a little more quiet, a little more reserved. But you know what happens is people get to know their style, get to know their personality, and you know what? They fall in love with them. And it's okay that they're not the razzmatazz, you know, Frederick, what the, all that kind of stuff. So energy is important if you have it. You right. with me? Now education, that is the game changer. If you look at the last couple of years, what's happening is it's now the haves and the have nots. Whether we're talking about YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, um, via video. The agents that are consistently doing video stand out in the marketplace. They are the ones that have a weekly show where they're saying, you know, hey, it's Tom and I with Banana Real Estate and you know, we're talking about what's going on here in Bixby Knowles in Long Beach, California. And by consistently creating that content and educating both buyers and sellers on what's happening in the marketplace, you stand out. You become the trusted voice. You become the trusted advisor. So that education part is critical. Entertainment, it's speculative, right? Like, I mean, it's, you know, like, what is art? Like, some people are entertained by, like, people punching each other in the face and other people want to watch a ballet. So I think the most important thing is to stay in your lane to know who you are. Like, don't try and fake it with clients and have them then meet you and go, what happened? Does that make sense? It does. So let's talk about the don'ts. Do not do these three items. Do not, for instance, oh, I, I'm I, sorry, there's, there's before, probably we, 100. before we jump <laughs> sure, in, sure. don't brag. I mean, there's some brag videos out there yes, and it's like, yes. for the love of God, right? Yeah. So what are the three don'ts do not do? 
Um, well, I certainly like that one. Um, but but at the same time, there is some you know the, some shameless self promotion that could be done in a more elegant way. Okay. Like I think one of the hotter videos right now to pay attention to is taking an old method that always got the phone to ring, aka a just sold card, okay. and turning that into a just sold video where you could literally say you know hey I recently sold this property one two three four Banana Street. And I want to tell you about it, right? This was a complex transaction. You know, the sellers, they, you know, they really wanted to move, but they had to get a certain price point or it wasn't going to work. So they relied on our services to really market and expose the property in a different way. So rather than just putting the home on the market, we actually spent 47 days. And so you, you describe almost in a case study how you were able to drive X number of traffic to YouTube, X number of traffic to, to Zillow, how many properties were saved. So you're, you're sharing that, that success, if you will, mm -hmm. versus, you know, like, hey, I'm just number one. Right, right, right. right and right. it was only about the client, it was about the strategy that you chose. Okay. So I like that way, okay. right, versus just the straight up, look at me. Yeah, so right. I would say don'ts, um, in today's day and age, like it's <laughs> don't have bad lighting, uh, you know, don't have bad sound quality. Mm -hmm. and, and probably the most important thing that, that most of you maybe will pay attention to, especially if you're doing stuff on YouTube, is you can't have a bad um, thumbnail. Like you have to have, like, you know when you look at YouTube and you're scrolling down and you're seeing all these videos that right. are available? Or even now in an email, if I'm sending out a video to someone, right, inside of an email, that thumbnail photo is super important. Okay. If it doesn't captivate him, engage him, make him curious, right. right? Think about it. You're walking through the grocery store and you're like, thin thighs in 30 days or less without diet and exercise. You know, Michael Jackson's alien baby. Like, it shocks you into saying, what is that? I want to find out more. Right. That thumbnail photo, our numbers show, if the thumbnail photo isn't right, it's not even going to get opened. Okay. So that would be another thing. You, if you're not testing these things, you're going to lose. Okay. Wonderful. Thanks for that feedback. What about the do's? What must you do in a video? in order to captivate the audience and keep them engaged because, you know, the, with the millennials, they get disengaged so, right away. Are we talking about like like a video, like a quality video yeah. where I'm producing something like doing this or are we talking about live? We're, either or. Let's talk well, about, but it's, but let's it's talk very about live. Okay. Let's talk about yeah, live. Yeah. So, so live, um, it's all about the headline, okay. right? What are you going to talk about? Because awesome. remember, like, you know, everyone's sitting here on their newsfeed. Like, you know, I don't know if we're engaging you right now. Like, are you watching this? Are you going to make a comment on YouTube? You're looking down your newsfeed, you got 15 seconds, you're in your car and you're driving, you know you do it, right? You know you do it. And you're like, oh, I can see, oh, oh what's that? If that headline doesn't pop, if it isn't something that's interesting to me, I'm probably not gonna click on it, right? right. So, so some people would say, you know, you're always testing around that headline. Okay. I agree with that theory. Okay. The second thing is once you go live, if you don't recognize people, if you don't go, oh my God, hey Mark, what's going on? Patrick in the house from Germany. Like if you're not giving people shout outs live, right. you're gonna miss them. If you're not saying things like, hey, do me a favor, could you give me some thumbs? Could you give me some hearts if you like what I'm saying? Does this make sense for you? Mm -hmm. And what happens is they start to hit likes and they start to hit hearts mm -hmm. and Facebook and Instagram pick up on that algorithm, mm -hmm. which actually gets you out in front of more people. Okay. So there's ways that you can actually hack getting more viewers, if you will, right. by doing just some of these simple things. Remember at the end of the day, right, people like to be recognized. Yeah. So it, even if there's four people on there and you're like, mom, I just want to say thanks so much for watching and oh, look, my aunt's on there too. Right, right. You're better off doing that than not recognizing anybody. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. So those would be just a couple things. You can test certainly um, length of show, right? So if you're live, you know, sometimes it takes a couple minutes before people even engage and get connected. Exactly. I got Facebook mentions a million years ago. Like I was one of the early innovators when they were right, like, hey, right, check right. out this live right. opportunity. And I remember thinking to myself, oh my God, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna totally interrupt their day. Right. I was actually thinking that. And then I reached out to a guy named Gary Vaynerchuk and he's like, congratulations, you got that. Hit live, go now. The first live show we did was a one hour live show. We wow. had over 500,000 views awesome. in like the first 24 hours because mm -hmm. it was new and innovative, right? It was different. Mm -hmm. Today, you have to do stuff to stand out. Okay. So headline first and foremost, what you're gonna cover content wise, super important. Um, and then engage, right? Okay. Engage, ask for thumbs, ask for hearts, 
right? Get, you know, say people's names. It just makes them feel good and keeps them activated. Right. One thing that we're seeing that um, is standing out a lot is that the videos are very common. They're yeah. very cookie cutter. It's yes. boring. Everyone's like just squirreling through it. That's avoiding the watching same, the, the same, videos. The, the same, the same. Yeah. The same. Here's another listing. Yeah. Here's another yeah, yeah, good yeah. looking guy. Good. Yeah. Ooh, come right. My, you know. So I was sharing yeah. with you yeah. something totally cool that I saw yesterday on YouTube. Yes. And it was this guy. He's showcasing his home. It's a beautiful luxury home. And all of a sudden he walks in the bathroom, walks out with his swim trunks. Yeah, swim yeah, trunks. Love it. Dives in the pool. He's like, does I hope he anybody? Was a super fit yeah. guy. He wasn't. It was oh, hilarious. He wasn't. Even better. So he dives in the pool and he's talking about how would you like to come home and unwind to this, right? He's in the pool, jacuzzi, ends up in the sauna with a nice old fashioned. Yeah. Creating an experience. Exactly. Yeah. Creating yeah. an experience. So for he the, should have laid down by the fireplace. <laughs> Can you, could you imagine living here yeah. with me? Exactly. So what advice could you give to us for those that don't have that huge marketing budget? For instance, another agent that I met with was endorsed by a shark tanker. Yes. His business yes. flew out of the park. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. It, uh, Corcoran? Yes. Yeah, Barbara. Yep, she was doing that. So um, for those people that can't afford a camera guy sure. or they can't afford to get endorsed by a shark tanker. Sure. What's a good starting point? Look, I think at the end of the day, it's very simple. Today, you need to decide, are you going to be in the game or not, right? When, when Google and when, when all the major players, Facebook is saying 100% of our content is going to be video by 2019. Okay. Like TikTok, TikTok, that's tomorrow. So, so if you're sitting on the sidelines and you haven't engaged yet, I would just have you recognize that you better get really good at writing and blogging because it's going to be really hard for you to get noticed unless you're playing in this new world, which is video first. Um, from there, assuming you're in, I would say create a weekly show. Like that would be my most important piece of advice. Is it, you know, real estate at five? Is it what's happening in Huntington Beach? Is it Huntington Beach homes for sale? Whatever it is you decide to do, create an anchor show and then make the discipline, whether it's from an iPhone on a tripod, mm -hmm. you with me, where you boom and you just do your thing, or getting a buddy to hold your phone, or like we've got a couple of guys with cameras, um, you gotta do whatever you gotta do mm -hmm. to be in the game. Once you create the anchor show, then it's about taking that one piece of content and repurposing it multiple times. Okay. So you can take one three to five minute show saying, hey, we're driving through this beautiful community and I want to educate you on what's going on and you know the builders and how long it's been here and what are so, you know home prices and who's building and who's not building, all that kind of stuff. And then take that same piece and take some snapshot photos that end up on your Instagram page, your Facebook page, your Twitter feed, you with me, like repurposing, mm -hmm. and then taking that three or four minute show and carving out 30 to 45 second snippets or clips they refer to them as. Okay. And by the way, those those clips and snippets get more views because they're 30 seconds, 45 seconds, an interesting little piece. You do that from one piece of content, you end up with seven, eight, nine, ten additional pieces of content to promote throughout the week and stay top of mind with your clients. Mm -hmm. Do that 52 times in a year okay. and guess what? You're gonna walk through grocery stores and people are gonna be like, Like they're going to want to get selfies with you because you're going to become totally. a celebrity in your town. Does that make sense? I love it. That's my advice. One thing that I think that really attracts me and, and it has always been one of your highlights, one of your personal traits is your passion. Yeah. And uh, humor, I think, also engages people. Prompts, like, can you please kindly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Prompts. So these guys help. I could really screw with people right. and shoot some air detox in the middle of your show. <laughs> Do you feel that these are atten attention capturers or distractors? How could we utilize this to, to engage? Yeah, I mean, look, at the, at the end of the day, you, know, you're, you do want to have some level of entertainment, some, right. something visual, something right, stimulating. Right. Um, for me, this was just, this was a gift and this was a gift and they just mean something to me. So they're just sometimes inside my show and sometimes they're not. Okay. Um, be mindful you don't want to have distractions. Right, right, right? right. You don't, you know, like I, I did shows in downtown Chicago on a flip video camera. Do okay. you remember flip video cameras? Like full ghetto style, me holding it like this with wind blowing and like trees blowing in the background. It was too distracting. Right. A few little props like this, no big deal, but be mindful of your setting. Okay, be mindful of your setting. Wonderful. What are the essential platforms? What, where should we go? I, we were talking about earlier. Sure. Some people are confused or they're more inclined to Facebook, Twitter, yeah. sure. YouTube. What would you recommend if you're getting started? 
I think a huge mistake for people is getting myopic and saying, I only like, or my friends are only on, or my clients are on. Like, look, there's too many things happening, right? Instagram, if you talk to people at Facebook, and we're, you know, we're pals with the people at Facebook, Facebook obviously has two billion people on it, right? Instagram, smaller numbers, 700 million people, but all the eyeballs are on Instagram. Okay. You with me? Like, everybody's there. So does that mean that I'm not posting things on Twitter? Does that mean I'm not paying attention to LinkedIn? No, you gotta spread those kind of, those like Easter eggs everywhere. Right. So somebody's gonna find you someplace and go, oh, I like LinkedIn, that's my platform, or I love Twitter, I'm still there every day. So I'm not attached to any one of them. They are all like pieces of paper and a pen. They are tools and you have to use every single one of them. Interesting, great. For in, in regards to people that just don't wanna step into this game, yeah. they're reluctant to, they're scared, what do you recommend? You know, what do you recommend? Is it whether it be a coach, someone that could guide you through the process? Sure, sure. Is that possible for you guys to tailor to the necessities of, okay, we're gonna focus on this because if you don't, you're losing out. So, so here's the thing, ready? So it's all about fear, right? Right. Fear of the unknown, fear of not looking good. I've had people say to me, I don't wanna do video because you know, like my hair is always wrong. And I'm like, I just remind people like, your past clients in sphere know what you look like, right. right? So if you got bad hair, they already know that. If you got bad teeth, they already know that. If you don't dress well, they already know that. They don't right. care. Be authentic, be yourself, right? You gotta get over your story because what you're basically saying is, look, I got a chance right now to buy a whole bunch of Blockbuster stock and I know this little Netflix thing, this upstart's coming up here, but I'm going all in and you took your entire nest egg and put it in Blockbuster. What happened to you if you made that decision? You're out of business, yeah, totally. you're gone, you've lost everything. I'm telling you that in today's modern world, if you're not paying attention to the most important social phenomenon of our time, right? Video, social media, maybe you just picked the wrong profession. Okay. Right, maybe, should, I don't know, the DMV is probably hiring. And here's the thing, it's not just the video marketing. We could incorporate mm -hmm. the old ways, the old, 100%, right? 100%, 100%. You know, and We the still new, do direct mail, and you still knock on exactly. doors, you still so hold open Exactly, so you're not promoting, houses. because no. the other day someone said, oh, Tom's really huge on video. Yes. What about the old, like, roll up your sleeves type of hustle? No, no, no. No doubt. We yeah, incorporate yeah. both, right? Oh, no, no, the no. best we, of both worlds. We have historically been two-thirds tried and true, one-third push the envelope, right? right? And today, my clients will say, no, it's 50-50, right? So we still, like we call it the core four. I'm working my past clients in Sphere, okay. but where are they today? Right. I'm texting them, I'm doing bomb bomb videos, right. they're seeing me in social, I'm staying top of mind, okay. plus I'm making phone calls, maybe I'm doing drop-bys, I'm inviting them to open houses. Secondly, you're working your geographic farm, okay. right? Because you look at all the studies, everybody wants to work with a hyper-local agent, right? They want to work with that community expert, so geographic farming, open houses, open houses done the right way okay. can be listing attraction, but see, all these things supplement, add to, and extend your reach yeah. for all the things that we all know we have to do, knocking on doors, et right. cetera. Does Let's that make sense? Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. Open houses, that's huge, right? Yeah. But preparation is huge as well. Yes. And I'm noticing that if we don't prepare, we have to repair. Yes. The other day I watched a video. This guy's like, okay, coming in with his assistant. They're walking through the property. He hadn't done his preparation or yeah. his homework. And all of a sudden the lady, the wife is like, oh, I'd like to take a look at the backyard. So they opened the sliding door. And he's like, here's a tranquil backyard. And all of a sudden the train passes by. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and know, like and he actually posted it. Yeah, oh, that's live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what a bridge burner. For yeah. the love of God, prepare, right? Yes. So how much preparation yeah. do you do? Because I know that you do this every single day and that people would ask me when I yeah. was working here, is he really like that? Yeah. Is he like that? Yeah. Or I'm like, he is like that. I yeah. swear to God, I don't know, yeah, whatever yeah, he yeah, drinks, yeah. I'll have some of whatever you're having later. Bourbon. But yeah, he prepares and now he's the expert, but you have to get started. So my mantra is just do it and yeah. you know, seriously just do it get started yeah and with time with time you're gonna get as comfortable and become as a pro as you are is that correct or not just get started somewhere no but doubt. do your homework yeah. right yeah. and so talk to us about that when you started and and when when I started too and as a matter of fact every single time I'm on the camera I get jittery you know in the beginning it was like I know that didn't happen to you, but it did happen to me. And the, for one of my first interviews with Jack Canfield, I think I sweated, I don't know, a couple of uh, buckets. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. he was like, you know, it's okay. It's like, I'm chill. proud of you. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you're doing this. You yeah. have, you Jack's know. Jack's a good guy. Yeah. 
So it was interesting, um, and then it, that opened a lot of doors. But if I wouldn't overcome my fear, if I wouldn't have stepped outside of my comfort zone, yeah. and that's something that I learned with you, yep. then it wouldn't have happened. This yeah. wouldn't be happening right yes. now, because right now I'm like, yes, 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 yeah. yes. Yes. I swear. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very diplomatic. But anyways, so tell it. me about you. I mean, when you got started uh -huh. with this, now you could do it in your sleep. But who taught you? Uh, well, so no one really taught me video, right? Video was just a natural extension of doing a live event or right. in the early days of my career making a phone call. I used to envision with a headset on talking to a thousand people while okay. I was engaging with one okay. and anyone that's seen me speak before sees me do that today. Like right. I have this audience of people, you know, 10 or 10 million and I'm just focusing on the individual, like right. calling people out, having those engaging conversations. So it was a natural extension. Um, but in the video, in the very beginning, you know, video was awkward. Right? Like, you know, oh my God, did I say that the right way? Did right. I, you know, like, right, could right. I have done that better? Oh, I'm blotchy or, you know, my glasses on. And, and then I just finally realized, like, no one really cares. Right, right. You with me? No one really cares. In the beginning, it was like quality content right. over creative okay. and, and a beautiful setting. Today, though, I will tell you, you got to have both. You got to have great content and you got to have great creative. Right, you gotta have the right lighting, the right setting, you gotta do it all. So that just probably talked a whole bunch of people out of doing it. Um, you know what I would do? I would, actually, I would actually go very tactical and say, check out a solution by my friends at bombbomb.com. Okay. Right, so bombbomb, um, there was a wonderful article, Wall Street Journal or New York Times, that the headline was, the epidemic of facelessness. The epidemic of facelessness, that we get so many texts and so many emails, we get bombarded every single day that none of this stuff is standing out and engaging me anymore. And you know, we've had this experience. You're following up on a lead and you're like, hey, I sent you a text. And they're like, yeah, I never got it. And you're like, no, I remember seeing the bubbles. Right, right, right. And then right. you stop responding, right? right? So, so BombBomb bomb did two things. <laughs> I, I want to invest in the app that like actually like captures the bubble. That would be awesome. Um, Bomb Bomb did two things really well. Actually, three things, right? Number one, they got you on video in a really simple, easy to use app, mm -hmm. right? And what's great about it, the second thing is I shoot this little video and I say, hey, Janine, it's really great to meet you at the open house today. Thank you so much for taking the time to connect with me. And, you know, boy, I just, you know, I really hope we get the chance to work together. And I'm actually doing some searches for you right now to see if I can find that ideal property. Um, I'll be following up the next couple of days once I find something. And until then, you know, God bless, right? Video ends. I email or text it directly to Janine. And then guess what? When she opens that email, my phone goes ding. And you're like, oh my God, they actually opened it. This is great. And then ding, they just watched the video. Ding, they watched it a second time. Now I know I've got engagement. You right, with me on right, this? Right, right. So they did those two things really well. The epidemic of facelessness, got our face out there. But then secondarily, I know who's watching it and who isn't. But the third thing they did that I'm just super impressed by is last year they created a thing called Prompt, where you actually pre-record 15 or 16 different videos. You upload it into their system and your email list and they send them out for you on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So the challenge that a lot of us have today is the time to do it, yeah. right? The time to shoot the video, the time to get it edited, the time to do all these right. things. You know, Bomb Bomb Prompt solves that problem. So if, if you're just getting started, right? Having someone pre-write a script for you right. and just being able to read, you know, hi, I'm Tom Ferry with Banana Real Estate. I'm really you know, yeah. thankful that you're watching this video and I want to talk to you about, you know, blah, 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 16 pre-recorded videos. <clears throat> it's kind of set it and forget it. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. I would look at something like that as just an easy solution. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of videos you can watch on YouTube about right. how to prepare. Okay. Um, there's a lot of great uh, presenters out there that teach speaking skills, public speaking skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, lean in. I mean, That's you're in the cool. communication business. You make your money because you engage and connect with customers, you build trust, you bring value, and you solve problems, right? To be effective, you, you gotta be able to communicate, right. right? This is just another medium. Don't be afraid of it. Right, FYI, you had me at hygiene. <laughs> Invest in yourself. Uh, can I buy your phone real quick? Sure. So have you guys seen those videos where people are walking in and they're like taping the house and they're about to fall over and <laughs> yes. stuff? Have yes. you seen how ridiculous that is? Yes. Those are the, the little uh, extras, those, uh, what are they called? Uh, to to uh, yeah, take the, um, not selfie the selfie sticks. stick, the no? other ones. Which the other one? The other little um, amenities for you to utilize a video where the phone's not shaking or yes. anything weird. Yes, yes, yes. You have to well, the iPhone 10, there's no shaky. Um, oh, okay. I think the selfie stick is totally fine, 
Right, but at the end of the day, like having like your 12 year old just right, follow you right. around is probably completely fine. Okay, so anyway. Especially because you couldn't remember what the name of the thing is and I have no <laughs> idea either. <laughs> I know, but anyways, there are so many extras that you could utilize in order microphone, to. Microphone, microphone. Super important, right. plug it into your phone. Okay. You know, put right. it on your blouse, put it on your shirt, just for better sound quality, absolutely yes. Awesome, so talk to me about your favorite videos. I was sharing one of when, back in the day when I was working for you. Yeah. Tim Smith did an awesome video, mm -hmm. awesome video, yes. but of course he rented a helicopter. And I know that. Yeah. The funds, you Probably know. not a good idea for a right. $175,000 <laughs> house in Kansas exactly. City. Exactly. Yeah. So what are your favorite videos that some of our audience could watch, get on there and get some ideas, if you could think of any sure. right now? Uh, well, I could think of um, hundreds, just remembering all their names. Just a few. And, yeah. um, actually, what I would do is I would look at uh, Chris Kwan, K-W-O-N, okay. from Douglas Elliman uh, in Irvine, California. He's doing some really creative stuff. Now, he loves editing, he loves the production, and he sells a lot of real estate. Okay. So he's sort of blended a passion okay. with his money-making machine of real estate. So Chris Kwan, um, I think Christoph Chu, uh, forever. Christoph was with me in 2009 okay. when Gary Vaynerchuk was on stage at our summit and said, look, you need to start a real estate at five show. And I watched, you know, hundreds of people run out and buy flip video cameras right. and start. Okay. Christoph was one of the early ones. Um, what he's doing now is he's getting in his car every week with his iPhone, you know, putting it basically in his, you know, Mercedes with one of those yeah. little sticky, sticky things. Yeah. And it's on him and he's like, hey everybody, it's Christoph Chu, Cole Banker. Today I'm driving through Beverly Hills Flats and he describes the community, then he flips it around. So now the video is now on the community of him driving, okay. right? And he just drives through the neighborhood and describes everything about the okay. neighborhood. Well, guess what? When he uploads that into YouTube and tags it with, you know, Homely Hills, you know, new listings in, all that great stuff on YouTube, he's getting come list me calls. Like he's not even gonna like that I'm saying this on video. Like okay. it's so good from a, uh, you know, from an SEO standpoint. And it shows that like, you know the neighborhoods. You right. are that market expert, kind of like geographic farming. Um, I would also look at people like Eileen Rivera. Um, mm -hmm. Eileen Rivera, Long Beach, California, does a fantastic job with using videos like this video, this listing is coming soon, mm -hmm. making an announcement to people, that's always a good idea. Or the interview series that she's been doing for years okay. about people inside her community, mm -hmm. right? Her, her focus was, I want to be one of the most well-known, connected, like approachable people in the geographic farm that I serve, right? Okay. So she's become that by interviewing people in their book club, by you know getting someone that was a for sale buyer who right. ended up listening with her and selling at a high price and interviewing them, okay. uh, you know talking to the mayor in town, local politicians, all the restaurant owners, you know the the school people. Like she's gotten so embedded on video in her community. Yeah that like you can't help but not think of her name in that area. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And then look at people like Kyle Whistle who won uh, Bomb Bombs, like number one video influencer out of, you know, a gazillion videos that were looked at. Um, he does some things where, you know, he's showing like restaurants and, and like there's just something about like always starting with food. It's just mm -hmm. easy, bars. Mm -hmm. And even though you say, well, like what does that have to do with selling real estate? Well, he's wearing, you know, Whistle Realty on his shirt as he's right. walking around saying, hey, today we're walking into yeah. Janine's restaurant. Yeah. You know, she owns blah, 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 and we yeah. love your hamburgers. Let's get a photo of the hamburger. He's, he's just getting you engaged in the community, mm -hmm. and it's not just, hey, we're Whistle Real Estate and we sell a lot of houses. Okay. And, and by the way, all those people I just mentioned are not just doing one thing, they're doing multiple things, right? Lots of different forms of video, which is what is causing them to stand out and be recognizable. So in essence, there has to be a diversity, right? Absolutely, it just yes. can't be like more the, the same, testimonials, more the same, more the right, right, right. Yeah. So in, in that diversity, so we could end quickly because before we end, I want you to talk to me about the summit for a couple of minutes. Sure. Um, in that diversity or that display of videos, what should we have? Should we have an all about me, uh, a couple of testimonials? You know, sure. um, I'm not sure. If I go to if I go to your website, um, if I go to your IGTV now, okay. um, it would be great that I could go there and you could say, you know, hi, I'm Tom Ferry and I sell real estate here in Newport Beach, California. And, you know, here's the neighborhoods I specialize in. Like, let me get to know you. You know, I have a family, I got two kids, they went to this school, like I'm in the community. Okay. At the end of the day, like, people need to get to know who you are. That's okay. important. 
Then I'd have a first time buyer video, okay. right? Do's and don'ts of a first time buyer. I'd have selling your home in Newport Beach, selling your home in Corona Del Mar, mm -hmm. selling your home in Shady Canyon. Like I would do a bunch of area specific or neighborhood specific videos okay. about selling your home there and talking about the trends, what works, what doesn't. Um, I don't think you can have enough. If you can get clients to give you reviews on video, bananas. Otherwise, you know, Zillow and Google are still really effective for that. Okay. Why not do an Instagram video of just 65 of your Zillow reviews, just the text. That's cool. Scrolling like that. that. I mean, there's, there's lots of, you know, creative ways to do it. So awesome. I'd have all those and more. Great. So in essence, thank yeah. you so much for sure. having me. Yeah. And I want for you to talk to us a little bit about the summit because Finance of America will be raffling out two tickets to your summit. Awesome. And we're excited about being there. Cool. So talk to us a little bit about, you know, what's going on this year. I know you're yeah. always full of surprises. Yes. And yeah. Well, it's the 15 year anniversary. Um, you know, they say if you make it past 10 years, like in business, like you're doing okay. So, you know, 15 years later, uh, having a lot of fun. We're going to have, you know, several thousand people plus our live cast with, you know, kind of thousands of people around the world with sort of the same mindset, like, hey, the market's making a shift right now. So what are the things that I need to be doing early? It's kind of like that Netflix example. You know, if, if someone told you three years ago, hey, you should buy Netflix, right? Basically, you fell into one of three groups. The people that were like, ah, I don't like the stock market, mm. it's not my thing, right? Uh, some said, oh, that's a really good idea. They wrote it down, they did nothing, because mm -hmm. that's a lot of people. They go, oh, they get all excited and do nothing. Yeah. And then, you know, the third that's like, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Well, in three years, that stock went from 350 to 700, then it split seven ways, and now it's back Ouch. over 400. Wow. So if you bought, you know, $10,000 worth of the shares, that 10 is now worth about 80, okay. right? That was a really good decision. The challenge that agents have today is there's too many decisions. Too there's many. too many things to do. So by attending an event like the summit where we really narrow the focus around what are the most important consumer centric decisions you need to make, let's narrow that down. Okay. What are the behavioral decisions you need to make, let's narrow that down. What are the most strategic marketing decisions you need to make, and let's narrow that down. The goal is to lead the room with like six or seven things to do right. that can two or three extra business. And that's what the summit's about plus the networking, the fun, and the idea sharing, and just you know the people we attract, yeah. it's really extraordinary, but it really is a Netflix moment right now. Okay. And there's gonna be, over the next 18 months to two years, a whole bunch of people that fall in that camp of, yeah, that's a good idea, right, and do nothing. And some people, like we saw this in 2006, seven, eight, when they're like, you know, I'm just not into that, you know, short sale's not my thing, you know, forget it, and they just tanked. Mm -hmm. And then a third of the people that made the right strategic decisions, they dominated. That's what the summit's all about. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching us and thank you for being with us during all these tips yeah. and resources. I'm so grateful for this time. Thanks for the opportunity. I'll see you soon. Hey, I'm Tom Ferry and I wanna say welcome to real estate. Now, there's a pretty good chance no one's told you there's an 87% failure rate every five years in this business and there's only two factors. Agents don't have the tools and they don't take the right action. I'm gonna invite you to click the link below and get access to the tools so you can win in this business.